Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can use page template in SharePoint. But before to go forward, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Page template is a nice feature on SharePoint that it gives you the ability to save time during the creation of new page. In fact, instead of starting from scratch every time, what you can do is reuse a template. So you can reuse a page that you have already created in the past, then reuse the structure, change just the content, and that's it. The new article post is, is ready to go. But let's check it together, how you can use it on SharePoint. Let's go. Here I am on my Office 365 tenant. I am a communication site here created previously, but this functionality is available also in a modern team site. Okay, now let's start to see what kind of templates we have available out of the box. From the home page, if you click on this new button and then page, this panel will show up. And as you can see here, we have already available out of the box these three templates. We have blank visual with this image, text and another little image on the right, a little text, big image, three images with text, and finally this one big image. Or you can select basic text where you have highlight on, on the text. Let's say that now I want to create a new template. So then I will start from scratch from the blank template. And I will define the, the structure of the body of this, of this page. I want to have the one third right column. And here we have a text web part. It's okay for me. Then on the right, I want to have a call to action. And finally, on the, on the bottom, I want to have an image. Now I will click on cancel because every time that I use this template, I want to, to have this, this button available, add image. In this way, this will remind me that I need to, to define an image in the footer of this, of this page. Okay, I'm ready now to save this, this template. If you click on this drop down, you will have this option available, save as template. Okay, now the template will be saved, as you can see from this message. I want to, before to confirm the saving, I want to confirm the, the name of this template, news because I will use this template for generic news. Okay, I'm ready now to save this template. And now this template, it's, it's available. In fact, if I go under the pages library, I will see that there is a new folder available called templates. And if I open this folder, we have exactly the, the new template that we created, news. Now let's say that I want to create another page template starting always from scratch. I will create the structure. This will be a announcement template. Then I will use one column. I will have an image on top and then simple text below. Fine. Perfect. I'm ready to save also this template. Save as template. I will define this announcement, this new template as announcement. When I have a, a big announcement to share with, the, with my colleagues, I can use this template. Then save page template. And now we have these two templates. Okay, now let's play with this new Two templates that we have just created. I will click on new page 
And as you can see, we have these two new templates that we have just created. An additional option that you have is the ability to define a new default template. So for example, I will select this one will be my default template. So every time that I will create a new page, this will be automatically my, my template assigned for the, for the page. When I create now this page, I will have this structure that I already created. And this is pretty easy and time saving when you have to create new content on your on your SharePoint site. So here I can just type lure Ipsum and and so on. I can go for with some other text. I can pick up an image, let's say that one, open. So then I can easily define also the call to action by opening the in edit mode this and this will be the, uh, for example, my blog. Here we go. I defined also the, the call to action. Then I can publish and this will be my new, new article available reusing the template that I already created. Pretty cool. So the same experience we have, of course, when we reuse the, the, other, the other template that we have just created. I can select announcement, create page, and then I can just type something here, but we have here the, the content that we have already created before. So the, I have to select an image, then the text, and this other template is, is ready to go to serve my purpose. Pretty, I would say this is pretty cool. Under the cover, we have, as I said, we have this new folder created in the pages library. So I can open this folder and I can uh, delete this template if I don't need any more. Or I can just do it from the new button when i select page i can easily easily do this directly clicking on the three dots and then delete from site that's it all right that was a quick tutorial how you can use page template in sharepoint if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is how I build my to-do list for next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.